Hey there guys, this is Mr. Herbst here, and today I want to focus on the difference between Darwin and Lamarck. Uh, we might be a little bit familiar with Charles Darwin already. Um, he had several theories on how organisms evolved, and the most uh, important one was his theory of natural selection. Well, there were other guys that studied how organisms evolved, and there was one that, that came out as being famous, and uh, this was Lamarck. Lamarck, um, he incorrectly had this theory that uh, evolution occurred by acquired traits. So that means that creatures or organisms develop traits during their lifetime and then pass those acquired traits on to their offspring. Now I realize there are many different theories on how the uh, giraffe got its long neck, but according to Lamarck, he said that those giraffes they sort of uh, had a desire to reach those taller leaves, so over their lifetime they sort of stretched their neck, and they kept stretching it and stretching it and stretching it, and over their lifetime the, the neck became longer and longer, and eventually they would have babies, and then their babies would be born with longer necks because the parents stretched them out in their lifetime. We don't accept this as being a valid theory, so we get the whole big X on that one. And I really want to lay down why is that theory incorrect? And to do this, I want us to take a look at a rat. Imagine that there was a study done where we had a population of rats and we cut their tails off. Now, if we cut their tails off, they can still have babies, right? We didn't really affect their ability to mate. They can still mate. But do you think that if we cut the tails off of rats, are their babies going to be born without tails as well? Uh, hopefully, you can kind of answer that. The answer would be no. Their, ba their babies would be born with tails. Now. What about if we talk about humans? I mean, as kind of maybe as disturbing this sort of picture is to look at, you know, people missing fingers. Um, if you if you if a person loses a few fingers during their lifetime, it doesn't affect their ability to mate. They can still have kids, but are their kids going to be born without fingers? Uh, hopefully, you can answer that. The answer is no. Their kids are going to be born with fingers. How about uh, cancer? I, I'm going to spare us those gross images of cancer during this video, but um, I'm going to use cigarettes to represent cancer. If a person develops cancer during their lifetime, they still have the ability to have kids, even with the cancer. Are their kids going to be born with the cancer that their parents had? Um, the answer is no. A person has the ability to pass down um, the, the genes to be predisposed to cancer, which means that um, it's possible that if I am uh, if I'm a high risk for getting cancer and maybe in my life someday maybe I do I hope I don't but you know maybe I maybe I do um, my kids won't be born with cancer but they might have the predisposition to cancer like I would have had and so I want to go ahead and take a look at the giraffes here so according to Lamarck he said that there was this giraffe here like this with which was born with this short stubby neck and through the course of its lifetime which giraffes live you know uh, 20 30 years somewhere in that in that frame right there over the course of its lifetime the giraffe stretched out its neck tried real hard to stretch it as far as it could and eventually by the end of its life it had a neck like this um, so hopefully you can kind of see why that is totally not a, a correct theory I'll give you the example of me. Here's a picture of me and my buddies. If you look at my height compared to my friend's height, well, you know, I'm, I'm certainly a little bit shorter than them. I'm certainly not a short person, but I am definitely shorter than my friends. Now, it may be nice to be tall, but do I have the ability to force myself to grow longer or grow taller in my lifetime? Hopefully the answer no. I don't have the ability, even though I would think about it and even though I want to grow taller, I certainly don't have the ability to force myself to grow taller. Now on to Darwin. Darwin is the current, Darwin's theory of natural selection is the current theory that we accept as uh, the main driver of how evolution occurs. He said something a little bit different than Lamarck. Darwin said that giraffes that already have long necks are more likely to survive. So the ones that, that already have the long neck are be more likely to reach those tall leaves and they're going to pass those genes for having the long neck onto their offspring. So more or less offspring inherits traits from their parents 
And so if the only giraffes that survive are the ones that have the long necks, the kids, the offspring, are going to be born with long necks as well. So he believed that there was variation, that not all organisms were within a species were the same. Some had taller necks, some had slightly shorter necks, but the ones that had taller necks would be more likely to survive. And so he believed that there was this um, survival and selection for the taller necks. And eventually, um, the organisms that survive are going to reproduce and produce babies that um, are more similar to their parents. And so that currently gets the check mark as what we accept. Anyway, guys, that concludes um, Darwin versus Lamarck. Make sure that you complete the Google form below. Uh, again, this is Mr. Herbst, and I'm signing off, folks. Y'all have a nice day.